This video demonstrates how to install the axle clamp brackets onto your cart. The brackets are specific to specific cart brands and models, so before you begin, be sure to check the brand and model listed on the box and make sure it matches your cart's brand and model. If they don't match, contact your retailer to exchange for the correct brand and model. You'll need a wrench and any other tools necessary to remove the rear brakes. You'll also need a 10mm open end or box end wrench or adjustable wrench and a number 2 Phillips screwdriver for installing the brackets. Now it's easiest to work with the wheels up in the air, so position your cart where you can easily and safely access the rear wheels. If your push cart has a rear braking mechanism, you'll need to remove that now. Now that the rear brake mechanism has been removed, it's time to remove the rear wheels. Once the rear wheels are removed, you can now remove the wheel pivots from both sides. You're now ready to install the axle clamp brackets. Slide one bracket onto its corresponding strut tube with the opening of the axle clamp facing away from the cart and align the holes and fasten them with the bolt, nut, and washer. Then repeat for the other side. Before you use your club booster, make sure you've read the entire manual thoroughly. Now you're ready to enjoy your club booster for years to come. To check out our accessories or for more information, visit our website at www.alfordgolfusa.com.